Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have recognition awards. I, roll call, I'm sorry. Benelli? Here. Paduk? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Kolasek? Here. Lujan? Here. Minuta? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Ruskevich? Sassy? Here. Sierra? Here. Staganga? Sutherland? Here. Tortell? Here. Tui? Here. Vero? Here. Brescia? Here. 20 present, one absent. Okay, first proclamation awards um, recognizing the ADAs from the Orange County District Attorney's Office who were honored by the State Department of Labor for their part in the recovery of over one, one million in stolen unemployment fraud benefits. District Attorney Dave Hoover, Chief ADA Christopher Boric, Senior ADA Carrie Kolick, ADA Tanja, Beamer, hope I said that right, ADA David Kempinger, and ADA Matt Ross, and Legislator Hines, of course. And I'll go up. I'm just going to say a couple words here now that uh, whenever a group, uh, an office, or a department, or, yeah, up in the, on the outside, inside, excuse me, okay. have an inside right there. Whenever, <laughs> running in circles. Whenever a, uh, a group like this does something, we're, as legislators, we're all very proud. When you save the county money and, and you represent us, it makes us very happy at budget time to uh, allocate money to each respective office. And I congratulate you, DA Hoover, Legislator Hines, who is the chairman of the Oversight Committee, and, and the DA members. So, Kevin, you want to take it away from up there? I'll come up. Relax. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I guess what I'm here to say is I, I made uh, Dave Hoover's one of his nominating speeches when he decided to run for district attorney, I guess some five and a half years ago. And I told everybody at that time he was a terrible football coach, but he was going to make a great district attorney. And I'm here today to tell you that I, I was exactly correct. Uh, so <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate that. But his kids are great players, so th that's not a reflection on him. Uh, so uh, we have a proclamation, but before the chairman gives that out, I just wanted to say that uh, since Dave has been in office, the district attorney's office has saved over a million dollars or recovered over a million dollars in unemployment fraud, which is fantastic because all the legislators believe that the unemployment is available for those that need it, uh, but for those that don't deserve it, uh, that's a problem, and, and we love the fact that you were able to recover that money for us. We also appreciate the fact that we get to see some of the assistant district attorneys other than Mr. Borak and Mr. Hoover and Mr. Conflitti and see the people that are actually in the trenches doing the work, so that's fantastic. Not only did they do over a million dollars in unemployment fraud, but they also, you'll read about it in the paper, where they put the pictures of the people that steal the, uh, the welfare benefits, such as SNAP and uh, the social service benefits. And that is a deterrent effect. And that deterrent effect is really more important than that million dollars, I think, because that makes other people say, I better not do this. So it, it uh, extrapolates all the way out, saves us all that money so that those benefits can be used for those that need it. So we thank the district attorney and all of his staff for their continued hard work in keeping us safe and protecting the taxpayer dollar. So uh, thank you for a fantastic effort, and I'll turn it over to the chairman. DA, you want to say a few words about your? Um, Mr. Chairman, thank you. To the members of the legislature, just so you understand, uh, Kevin uh, had a very good synopsis there, other than about the part about me being a football coach. Obviously, my inability to coach had nothing to do with my kids' ability to play. Um, they couldn't beat Arkansas. I'll tell you, you're, you're pretty, okay, look, the, the kid went to two Final Fours. What more do you want? No, his team did. Um, so we have a lot of uh, economic crimes that we prosecute in the DA's office, one of which is we do the... Um, Unemployment fraud. We do that primarily with the state police. It's something when I came into office that, you know, Mr. Boric uh, was in charge of setting up the policy for that. 
Um, this past year, uh, this year we are actually eighth in recovery in the state. Last year we were seventh. Um, the ADAs that do those prosecutions uh, here, senior uh, ADA Carrie Kolick uh, is in charge of the unit that uh, handles that. Um, Tanya Beamer is right behind her, does a majority of the prosecutions. And um, David Kempcher, who is one of the younger members on staff, is also involved in those prosecutions. Um, so you're aware um, these four produced a million dollars worth of revenue back to the state last year alone. And again, it's significant because the last two years we've been seven and eight, and obviously by size, um, we're much, we're much uh, smaller than that. Um, finally, something I think it's important to know, when you mentioned the welfare fraud and the people's pictures in the paper, in the state of New York, uh, when it comes to crimes against revenue, the total prosecution, whether it's welfare fraud, tax, et cetera, anything that deals with revenue that is being taken from the government, the Orange County DA's office, on return and investment, the amount of money that the state gives us versus what we return, we were number one in the state. Um, and that's a credit to you. So I, I thank you for the recognition, and more importantly, I thank you for them because they actually do the lion's share of the work. So thank you, Chairman Brush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, also uh, an update on the city of Newburgh. Um, I know Mr. Kulisak, that's one of your area, Mr. Brazan. Uh, we, for the past uh, four years now, we've been part of um, what we call GIVE. It's Gun Violence Initiative. It's basically the reduction of gun violence. It has two parts. The first part deals with just getting guns off the street and basically reducing gun violence. The second part of it focuses on uh, people that basically non-cooperative victims, individuals that are shot, that are usually involved in nefarious activities, basically um, they're uncooperative. They do not want to cooperate with the police. Uh, they don't help. Uh, we have had these two initiatives with the state uh, for the last, uh, the uncooperative part for the last two years, the GIVE program for the last four. Uh, we were just recognized in Albany as um, one of the, actually the leader in the state in basically uh, gun violence reduction. Obviously we don't do that alone. We have the city of Newburgh that's done a lot of work with us on that. Um, the prosecutor on that case is not here today, uh, Leah Canton, she's upstairs, but it's just amazing um, that the program has worked so well and I appreciate uh, the confidence that you had in us uh, four years ago. You gave me a uh, position, Isabel Rojas is the project, the project coordinator. She's essentially a social worker that works for the DA's office. She's the only one in the state of New York. She's the only uh, position like that in the state of New York that works for a district attorney. Uh, what she does is we identify individuals that we think are most likely to kill or be killed. And we contact them, we basically read them a riot act and we give them an option. They can either leave the criminal enterprise that they're in and we will help them get a degree, a high school, college, job, healthcare, whatever they need. Isabel does whatever she can to help them. We have the ability to get them second chance jobs if they're a convicted felon. We have places that we can funnel them to that privately will give them employment. Um, and the program has worked wonderfully. And as uh, I just said uh, about 10 days ago, we were in Albany, we presented our findings. Everything is obviously data-driven and evidence-based, and that's tracked by the state. And again, we were, uh, we were leading all other parts of the state in that to the point that they've asked us to go around the state and model our program. Uh, what we do here, other counties can follow and uh, very proud of that, but would not be possible without you giving the personnel a few years ago uh, in order to do it because the, the, uh, the county had to take that position in because the state didn't want to give it to the city of Newburgh because of at times the political situation that happens out there regarding who gets hired and who is not. But I'm just here to tell you that the program is, is doing wonders and any time any of you ever want to see the numbers or want to come up and look at how uh, any of these programs work, please let us know. And one question somebody asked me about the million dollars. I wish we did recover a million dollars. I wish I could have given the million dollars back to the county. The county gets about 12% of that. Thank you again, DA. This gentleman over here looks like he was in uh, Rob Sassy's Youth in Government Day. 
last year, Mr. David down there at the end. He looks a little young to be in your office. <laughs> He's doing fine. He's doing fine. That's good. Start him young. Okay, I'll just read the top uh, proclamation beginning in the, the last whereas. A proclamation of the legislature of the County of Orange recognizing the outstanding accomplishments of the Orange County District Attorney's Office proclaimed that we, the legislature of the County of Orange, on behalf of ourselves and all of our citizens of Orange County, do hereby extend to the Orange County District Attorney's Office this recognition of their marvelous performance and outstanding accomplishments and continued efforts given this first day of November 2018. Kevin W. Hines, legislator, and myself as chairman. Okay, I'd like to call up Joel Sierra, legislator from the city of Middletown, vice president and members of the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association, uh, minority, minority leader Mike Paduke, who represents a, good, a little piece in Middletown, Janet Sutherland represents a little piece too, so you can stand up here, and Jimmy O'Donnell too, a little piece. So um, I'll turn it over to Joel to do the presentation, then we'll do the proclamation. These gentlemen are all gonna come up? You wanna go on the other side and do it, or? Whatever's easier, yeah. So we can get some pictures. Yeah, let's all go to the other side for this one, all right? I just wanted to recognize a few of my fellow uh, firefighter brothers here. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to start off with uh, Union President and Fire Lieutenant Demchek, uh, Firefighter Joe Andre, Firefighter Jason Kainu, Fighter Fire James Bierman, Firefighter Kai Oxford, the <laughs> tallest one here, <laughs> Firefighter Andy Witowski, Firefighter Dom Sicalese, Firefighter Nick Burrow, Firefighter John Bianchi, and Firefighter Sam Mitchell. If I can give you a round of applause, please. I'm very honored to work with all of you gentlemen. I want to thank you all personally for your service and your dedication to the city of Middletown and for uh, wish you all a happy 125th anniversary and many more years uh, to come. Thank you. Thank you, Joel. Thank you for inviting these gentlemen today. And we wish you all the best on your 125th anniversary. Hopefully you have a few festivities planned over there and the mayor loosens up the budget a little bit to, to get that done. I know he's pretty tight, right? <laughs> so, but I have the utmost respect for Fire Maddox. My father was a chief for three years and he was a commissioner of Montgomery Fire Department for 25 years. So. I grew up around fire medics. Volleys, of course, not full-timers like most of you are. But, uh, but I wish you all the best, and we have this proclamation. I'd be happy to read. Joel, can hang on that one second. A proclamation of the legislature of the County of Orange on the occasion of the 125th anniversary of the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association. Whereas the first career firefighter for the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association started the job on May 31st, 1893, driving the Eagle Engine Company number no. three horse drawn hose car. He lived and worked in the firehouse all week long and was granted a leave of absence two nights each week and substitute drivers would be appointed to fill any vacancy due to such leave. Due to staffing of firehouses by career firefighters, response time was decreased to only two minutes and something arriving at the box before the last round of bells had finished. And whereas the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association became members of the International Association of Firefighters on August 13, 1959 by proclamation signed by 20 members, they are designated as local 1027 of the IAFF. And whereas the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association Proudly staffs 28 members plus one fire inspector staffing three firehouse and seven apparatus on the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Their first motorized apparatus was purchased in December 1904. And whereas they arise from a community of individuals of courage and a sense of duty whose dedication to the safety of their fellow citizens and to the protection of their community is worthy of profound gratitude and appreciation. For 125 years, the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association continued to serve at the foundation of stone of the community. 
excuse me, and whereas our uh, county can boast of the proud history of unselfish, courageous citizens joining together to protect the health, safety, and security and continuity of our dwelling places. Now therefore, be, we, now therefore, we the legislature of the County of Orange do hereby proclaim a day of recognition of the 125th anniversary of the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association. And we do further commend these sentiments to all citizens of the County of Orange so that they may be accorded to the members, affiliates, supporters, and friends of the Middletown Professional Firefighters Association all due affection, appreciation, esteem, respect, and honor. Given this day of November, Legislator Joel Sierra, proud city Middletown fireman, and myself. That was long, sorry. <laughs> Chief, do you want to say anything? Do you want to say a few words or just accept? Do you guys want to say anything or just congratulations? Uh, you're, you're, you know, you know, I'm going to speak, so listen, I'm going to call the mayor and tell him it's about time he opens up as a little four-hour open bar, nice buffet for you guys, so you deserve it. All your work is built on the uh, backs of uh, the people that started 125 years ago, so congratulations, keep up the great work, thanks. He's working on boats, you can see that. <laughs> Okay, there's nobody signed up for public participation, which is rare. Uh, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to vote collectively on agenda items number 7 through 10, 24 through 30, 37 through 41, and 42 and 43. Second. Okay, if there's no objections, that will be done. There are 7 through 10. 24 through 30, 37 through 41, and 42 and 43. Okay, are there any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. I requested item number 13 on the agenda, which is the resolution by the Department of Public Works to allow a revenue shortfall in capital project number 436 to be covered by capital reserve to be withdrawn. Okay, if there are no objections, that will be done. I also have another one, if you don't mind, Mr. Chair. Not at all. 
Uh, I request that item number 14 on the agenda, which is a resolution by the Department of Public Works to allow a revenue shortfall in capital project number 455 to be covered by capital reserve. This is ca capital project number 455, Camp Maples Bridge, and I would ask that that be withdrawn as well. Second. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done as well. Okay, Rhonda, number one, I guess. Or A and B receive and file before we get to one. And now one. Legislators Fagionis to Ganga. Resolution extending additional ben benefits to all employees of Orange County called to active military duty. Second. Discussion? Yes. Kulisek added. Bureau added, Sassy added. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be added? Yeah, right yeah, everybody, right? You want to speak? Okay. Everybody added and Kevin's going to speak. Yes, I'd just like to tell everybody, if you don't know, uh, De Deputy Sheriff Sergeant Andrew, Andrew uh, Frank is in the room, and he's about to be deployed shortly over to uh, Africa. Am I allowed to say that publicly, I hope? After uh, some training, it's a very hostile area, and I know I speak on behalf of all my colleagues. We wish you the best uh, return to your uh, wife and your children. Thanks for your service. Thank you, sir. And it's big country, so you didn't, or big continent, you didn't have a pinpoint where he's going to be, so that's good. Um, I just want to say thank you, Andrew, for coming to committee and explaining yourself. Uh, you expounded and, uh, eloquently and you covered all the bases, and uh, you did a great job. Majority Leader Benelli. Yes, thank you. Um, first of all, Andrew, I'd like to thank you for bringing this to our attention. Um, if there's anything that we can possibly do to be able to help those individuals that are protecting our country, we should make every effort. So, and I speak from some experience. My son-in-law is a commander in the United States Navy, and he's getting ready for deployment come this coming April. And I can tell you firsthand, he's been in the Navy for 16 years, and the deployments that they've gone through, and I, my extent of congratulations and heartfelt best wishes to your wife and your family. I have seen my daughter having to keep the home fires burning and keep things running, and you made a statement at committee which was, ironically enough, and it's very, very true, when you're on deployment, that's when everything at home falls apart. The roof is leaking, those types of things, and invariably that happens. Fortunately enough, my daughter has lived in a pretty good Navy or military community, being it at the uh, Pacific Fleet or with the Atlantic Fleet in Virginia, and there's a good network there. And a lot of the things that you said at committee really rang true to me, so I wish you the best of luck to not only you, but Look like you want to say something. Do you want to say anything? Chairman, Use the mic. Right. Sorry. Thank you, and to members of the legislature, I really appreciate your support, not just through your words, but through your actions on this. Uh, this employment is going to be especially difficult, not for me, but for my wife and my children, who are too young to explain this to, but will obviously know the difficulties of it. And uh, being able to be a little bit more financially sound throughout the deployment will make it easier for her therefore making it easier for me so I can focus on my mission and not so much worry about things on the home front. So I really appreciate it. I can't tell you how grateful I am that we finally got this uh, taken care of and squared away, not just for me, but for other county employees who serve in the Guard and Reserve for, for years to come. So thank you very much. My hat is off to you and a uh, you know, real uh, example to be followed. Thank you so much. That's Pete, our friend. Service <laughs> proud. Valley Central kid, and I have to say that uh, his I father was. Had a you had his. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew's father was the mayor of Walden over two decades ago. I remember him well, and uh, so you have a little politician in you. I can see it. So. <laughs> but good luck to you. All the best. Okay, where are we? Number three A, receive and file. No two. Number two. Oh, we didn't vote. Oh, geez, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Sorry, but roll call. Benelli. Absolutely. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Yes. Benton? Yes. Cheney? Agione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kulisek? Yes. Lujan? Aye. Menuda? Yes. O'Donnell? Yes. Ruskevich? Yes. Sassy? Yes. Sierra? Aye. Staganga? Yes. Sutherland? Absolutely. Tautel? Yes. Tui? Yes. Vero? Yes. Brescia? 21 eyes.
Okay, number two. Legislator Stagankin Sassy, resolution authorizing an increase in the fee schedule for civil service examinations. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, 3A receive and file number three. Legislators Amo, Vero, Benton, and Sutherland. Local law introductory number 18 of 2018. A local law relating to the sale of certain county real property known residences on reservoir properties and authorizing the sale to other than the highest responsible bidder. Sorry. Discussion? Ragione added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Okay. AA4 receive and file. A four receive and file and number four. Legislator Benton, resolution accepting and confirming the report of the apportionment of the mortgage tax for the period April 1st, 2018 through September 30th, 2018, as computed from statement filed by the county clerk. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. And number five. Legislators Benton and Paduk, resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to a certain detail parcel to the previous owner of record, pursuant to section five, paragraph B1 of local law number two of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Briskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Okay, Deputy County Exec uh, Harry Boer is here as well, and Wayne Booth is here, and also Supervisor of Town of Crawford, Charlie Carnes is up in the audience. Uh, number six. Legislators Benton and Kulasek, resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county-owned lands required by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County, pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 7 through 10 collectively. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Magnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell, Briskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 13 and 14 have been withdrawn. 11 through 23 minus those two. Right? Okay, I have on my sheet 11 through 23. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm looking at it wrong. Okay, so 11 and 12. 11. Legislators Benton and Anagnostakis, resolution allowing the Department of General Services to accept revenue and apply the funds to debt service pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number 12. 
Legislators Benton and Hines, amending bond resolution dated November 1st, 2018, amending the bond resolution adopted June 1st, 2017, and amended September 6, 2018, in relation to technology upgrades. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Vanelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 13 and 14 withdrawn. Number 15. Legislators Kulsek and Tui. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Department of Public Works to increase the tip fee at the Orange County transfer stations. Second. Discussion? Fagion? Legislator Fagion, I'm sorry. Thank you, Chairman. <clears throat> I'm very disappointed, in fact, that this uh, resolution has come to the floor. It is uh, with reluctance, unfortunately, that uh, we do have to vote on this today. Uh, I just want it to be known in the record that this will create a hardship for many municipalities throughout Orange County, including the city of Port Jervis, which is looking at an added fee of over $40,000 next year. I hope that going forward, as uh, contracts are created and uh, bids are put out, that we work more diligently to make sure that if fees like this do come in at the last minute, that we're all made aware of this and that we can work harder to make sure that we ensure our municipalities that we're looking out for their best interests first. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Okay, Legislator Cheney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I agree with everything uh, Mr. Fagione has said. Uh, we just got through a very favorable 20-year contract where we were, um, we were, our tipping fee was only $85 in the last five years and $80 the previous five years. Um, this is definitely going to have a burden on our municipalities and our residents. It's going to re result in higher costs. Um, but however, we, we don't have much other opportunity than to approve this today. However, during the next six months, um, I feel that this legislature and the administration will conduct a review of our solid waste practices and look at the options available that potentially could allow us to lower this fee. I'll be voting in favor of the resolution today, but with the stated provision that we, the legislature, and the administration move forward without delay to address the issue and see if we can lower the fee. Thank you. Thank you. Roll call. Nelly? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Abstain. Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes, 1 abstention. And number 16. Legislators Benton, Kulasek, and Anagnostakis. Bond resolution dated November 1st, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the preparation of surveys, preliminary and detailed plans, specifications, and estimates necessary for the planning of a park historic structures initiative, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 150,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to pay the cost thereof. A discussion? Fagione, Legislator Fagione. Thank you, Chairman. <clears throat> I just want to thank the entire legislature for this resolution. I ask everyone, please consider voting yes for this. Uh, the commitment was made by Commissioner Brooks in the Parks Department to come out to the town of Deer Park and look at the DNH Canal Park. The DNH Canal Park is a historic park within Orange County. It's inside the town of Deer Park. It's in fact in my, literally almost in my backyard. And I just want to thank the entire legislature for considering this and uh, the funds will go to a feasibility study in that park and it's good to know that Western Orange County has never been forgotten here in the legislature. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Roll call. And his name, Fagione, added to. I'm sorry. Benelli? Uh, I'm sorry, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, legislator Lujan? Or you want to be added? Or you mean? Okay, added. Okay, now roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, 
Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 18. I'm sorry, Seven, 17. You have a 17. You're right. 17 here. I'm running out of mistakes today. I'm at my quota. You know, on my sheet, it did say 11 through 23. That's why I looked at it. On my master sheet, it said 11 through 23. Okay, we're on 17? Mm -hmm. Okay, my last mistake today. <laughs> okay. Legislators Paduk, Benelli, Kulasek, Benton, and Nagnostakis. Bond resolution dated November 1st, 2018. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of improvements to the Heritage Trail, segment number one, from near the Route 17 underpass to Hartley Road. Stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 183,000, appropriating set amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 183,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Discussion, Pagion added, Bureau added, O'Donnell added, Luhan added, Staganga added, um, Totel added, and Sutherland added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number 18. Legislators Benelli, Kulasek, Benton, Hines, and Menuda. Resolution directing the administrative head of the Beaver Dam Lake Protection and Rehabilitation District to proceed with the increase and improvements of the facilities of the Beaver, Beaver Dam Lake Protection and Rehabilitation District. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Oh, Totel added or discussion? Added. Staganga added. Luhan added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vera, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 19. Legislators Tui, Benelli, and Benton. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 20. Legislators Benelli and Benton, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yeah, two we added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 21. Legislators Kulasek, Benelli, and Benton. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Ulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 22. Legislators Tui and Benton, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes. Okay. Tartel added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Managnostakis? 
Banton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 23. Legislators Kulisek, Riskevich, and Benton. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2018 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities, and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, 24 through 30 are collectively. Um, you can see the ladies, they, they block off on my agenda, but they're voted collectively. That's what I should follow instead of looking at that front sheet and getting screwed up. But. Okay, uh, roll call on 24 through 30 collectively. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 31. Legislators Luhan, Sierra, Riskevich, and Tui. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under the State Environmental Quality Review Act, CECRA, with respect to the construction of the Orange County Tactical Training Range 2, classifying the action as unlisted and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Discussion. O'Donnell added. Fagione added. Bureau added. Staganga added. Roll call. Benelli. Padu? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 32, and Kevin says this lady's a rock star, so she's not going to be there long, but what's the point her anyway, I guess, right? <laughs> 32. Legislator Sierra and Menuda. Resolution confirming the appointment by the County Executive to the Orange County Police Advisory Board pursuant to Section 18.07A of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Kevin? Sure. I'm, uh, I sit on the Police Advisory Board. I think, as all of you know, uh, the captains from the state police that have been in our Police Advisory Board really uh, move to high places. Brendan Casey sat there as a captain, and now he's our Emergency Services Director. Uh, Rick Mazzone was a captain with us for, I think, less than a year. He's now a major. That's why there's an opening on the board. And uh, Jennifer Godstein is now the current captain of Troop F, and she has been promoted very fast and is a, a very reputable person in the state police. So I would suspect that, as the chairman said, that, that she won't be with us long either because they, they seem to be moving through Orange County. They give us these captains that are very successful, and, and they move right through, I'm sure. Mr. O'Donnell was probably a captain one day, and he moved all the way to Lieutenant... Uh, what was it? Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah. So uh, she's going to be a great addition for as long as we can keep her. Thank you. Legislator O'Donnell. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. I'll echo the words of uh, Legislator Hines. Uh, zone 2 Monroe is the uh, busiest zone station in the state of New York. It encompasses uh, Middletown, Newburgh area. It's a busy area for young troopers, and the captains there are always uh, picked. Uh, especially to make sure they're up to the deed, and she certainly is. So I'll be uh, adding my name to this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 33. Legislators Menuda and Staganga. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Police Services, to accept and appropriate grant funds from the State of New York Governor's Traffic Safety Committee pursuant to Section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. 
Discussion, Mr. Gang, or Tuttle added, I'm sorry, Duke added, Tui added, uh, Lujan added, Totel, I'm sorry, I thought I, I thought I said Totel, didn't I? No? Yes, I did. Sutherland added, O'Donnell added, Bureau added. <laughs> okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisic, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 34. Legislator Sassy and Luhan. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services Fire Services to accept and appropriate a grant from the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Sorry. Discussion? Aye. It's hotel added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 35. Legislator Sassy and Menuda. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Thank you. Pagione added, Totel added, Stiginga added, Lujan added, Sutherland added, and Ruskevich added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Pagione? Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 36. Legislator Sassy and Fagione. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Probation to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion, Bureau added. Okay, uh, Totel added, Staganga, Lujan. I'm getting used to that, Totel, Staganga, Lujan. It's, it's getting to repeat myself over on that. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, through 37 through 41 collectively, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 42 and 43 collectively? Sure. Yes, for appointment. Yes. Yeah, uh, to add as a sponsor, yes. For both? Yep. Uh, for, for the previous one? Yeah. For each one? Yes. Okay. The one added from 37 to 41. Okay, 42 and 43 collectively? Yes. Please add all Republicans. All Republicans on 42, on 42 and 43. Yes. Yes. All Dems too. All Dems too. And AMO, of course. Okay, roll call. Yeah, read it, please. First resolution. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature, Le Legislature appointing Michael E. Gatos to fill a vacancy in the Orange County Industrial Development Agency pursuant to sections 856 and 912 of general municipal law. Second resolution to vote collectively. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature appointing Michael E. Gatos to fill a vacancy in the Orange County Funding Corporation a local development corporation authorized pursuant to section 1411 of the New York State not-for-profit corporation law. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? Yes. O'Donnell? Ruskevich? 
Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 44. Legislators Totel and Minuta. Resolution authorizing the county executive to submit the application, I'm sorry, the action plan for FY 2019 to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, for the purposes of applying for and accepting certain federal funds for the Urban County Entitlement Program Community Development Block Grant Program, CDBG, pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law. Second. Discussion. Paduk added, Staganga, Tui, Lujan, Sierra. Yes, Benelli and Sutherland. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Bureau, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 45. Legislators Tortel and Lujan. Resolution authorizing the county executive to submit the action plan for FY 2019 to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, for the purposes of applying for and accepting certain federal funds for the Emergency Solutions Grant Program, ESG, pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law. Uh, Benelli added, Paduk added, Stiganga, Tui. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, 46. Legislators Luhan and Tortel. Resolution authorizing the county executive to submit the action plan for FY 2019 to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, for the purposes of applying for and accepting certain federal funds for the Home Investment Partnerships Program, HOME, pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law. Second. Discussion? Paduk added, Tui added, Stiganga added, Benelli added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 47. Legislators Staganga, Fagione, Tortel, and Tui. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate epidemiologists at the Orange County Department of Health pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Bureau added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 48. Legislators Fagione, Sassi, Staganga, and Vero. An act amending Act Number 46 of 2002 to revise the hourly rate of pay for public safety dispatcher per diem at the Department of Emergency Communications pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 49. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to abolish airport maintenance supervisor and create senior airport maintenance mechanic at the Orange County Department of Public Works Airport, pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Second. Second, I'm sorry. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Cartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear.
All right. Um, our next meeting is going to begin at 5 o'clock. I didn't think we'd be done this early, to be honest with you. But uh, we're going to, re going to reconvene in the statutory meeting room. Chairman Benton? Yes. Okay. And then um, we're going to caucus at what? After the presentation, when Ben Akils in each caucus will caucus for roughly 15 minutes. Okay, a motion to adjourn? Okay, all in favor?